Are you a Brawlhalla player that is getting absolutely destroyed every match you play? Do you watch videos for combos but have no idea what the heck any of it means? Are you tired of people saying get good and then hitting you with a nice taunt each and every single match? Beach, why well you said, me, gamer. Everyone asking, it's time you go from this to this. All right, well, you know, maybe maybe not as good as Sandstorm, but this video is definitely going to help you out a lot. Well, hello and welcome all to the official Brawlhalla Basics series. Today we are going to dive into everything and anything you could ever need to know to take you from zero to hero instantaneously in Brawlhalla. Without further ado, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to show support. And let's get this lesson on the road right now. All right, so first lesson is terminology. Obviously, when you play Brawlhalla, you hear a lot of different words that do a lot of different things, and you might not know what in the absolute heck any of this stuff could possibly mean. Well, first off, the easiest way to learn this stuff is basically to hear it and practice it yourself. So, coming through, it's super simple. The first one is called end light, which is simply just your light attack, so X. This is what it looks like regular. This is what it looks like on hit. That is end light, AKA X. Next one is D light. It's down X. This is what it looks like when you hit somebody. Simple enough. Next one is side light, which is left X or right X. Left X, right X, left X, right X. Looks like when you hit somebody, boom. Next one is nair, so neutral air, so X in the air. This is what it looks like when you hit somebody. Next one is dare, so down, X in the air. You can do that right or left. Next one is sare, side air, side X. Looks like when you hit somebody. And then you have recovery, which is jumping in the air. And then heavy attack, which is Y or B. Y or B both do the same things. And ground pound, jumping in the air. And down, heavy attack, down Y. Now, obviously, these things are going to be the exact same for every single legend in the game. Brahalla is a game that is dictated 100% by the legend's weapons. That is what makes each legend different and unique, but with only unarmed play, so no weapons, each and every single person in Brahalla does the exact same stuff. Now, when it does come to weapons, there are multiple weapons within the game, and here is each one. You have gauntlets, lance, katars, Bow, hammer, sword, orb, great sword, blasters, spear, axe, and cannon. Now these moves will always be the same for the light attacks on unarmed as well as light attacks for each weapon in its own unique set. So for example, end light or X on cannon will always be the same for each and every single legend that uses cannon in the game. Same for hammer, same for axe, same for every weapon in the game. Now, the important thing to note here is that heavy attacks are extremely dictated by each character in Brawlhalla. Now your heavy attacks are your Y or B button on controller and they depend directly upon the legend you are using. So play around in training till you find someone you think you would like. Now the most important thing in Brawlhalla is movement. You've probably seen some people move faster than lightning at times, just like this right here, while you're kind of just stuck doing this per match floating around. So there are little things that are actually two extremely secret picks that can take players all the way from silver directly to diamond the moment that they learn these moves. So now the first is your GC button. Now, what is your GC button? It is your right or left trigger on your remote, and it'll make you do this as so. Now, this button right here is also a dash for your character. Notice right here when I'm moving, there's smoke trails coming behind me. That means I am dashing. Now, this is what it looks like when I'm not using this at all. Very slow, very low running. Now, I start dashing. I'm moving much faster. Now, that is how you get side-to-side -side movement very fast in Brawlhalla to create unpredictable attacks. Now, the next one is going to be when you jump. Now, when you jump, obviously, you're doing this. 
But if we add the dash, right? Now we're jumping, we're jumping farther. We're jumping farther. We're not floating as much, but we're still floating a little bit. We could probably do something to help that out. Well, the key is that every time you jump, right, you can actually pull down on the left analog stick. So now you can move like this. As opposed to this. At the peak of your jump, when you press A, just pull down on the stick every time. Now this works at any height. Tip top. And then immediately. Just like this. It's that easy. Now obviously though, it is going to take some time because it's all about memory. And once you kind of like know exactly where to do the jumps and how, it'll start happening absolutely with ease. So this is going to wrap up lesson one of Brawlhalla Basics for everyone who's brand spanking new. Practice these tips and you'll be on your way to the big leagues. Let me know if this was helpful in the comments. I'll start beginning doing tutorials for each and every single legend as well. I love you guys to death. Thank you so much for the time. And like always, stay lit. Ba ba ba. Peace. Call you on your bullshit, you be acting extra Bitch, I'm more than hood rich, bitch, I'm copping Teslas You know we stay iced out, and you know we flexed up That bitch gon' be mad now, once you see that bitch